and we're back, Adventure Boy here. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Nintendo has given us a lot of Zelda love recently, all thanks to Breath of the Wild. And who can blame them? Breath of the Wild is an amazing game with so much story and depth to it. But I have one issue with it. In a recent interview, they've mentioned how Breath of the Wild is actually a part of the Zelda timeline, just taking place in a different, you know, age compared to other games. I have an issue with that, because the Zoras and the Ritu are main parts of Breath of the Wild, but they're not meant to be together in the same game at all. Because in previous games, it's been told that the Zoras became the Ritu. So how is it they can both be there and, you know, one not become the other? This is going to take a while to get used to and to figure out. So without any further ado, let's just get started. In Ocarina of Time, the Zoras are one of the main races in the game. The others being Goron, Kokiri, Gerudo, Sheikah, and Hylian. The Zoras in Ocarina of Time and in Breath of the Wild are nearly identical in how they are, with them living in a lake known as Zoras' Domain, having a king, a princess, and being a proud race. Now there are small differences, but they mostly come from the fact that Breath of the Wild blew the old lore out of the water and gave us a whole lot more information about them and their culture. Uh, blown out of the water jokes about fish people. That's a um, cringy pun out of the way. Someone will find it funny. Someone will find my puns funny. There's also a Zora in the next game after Ocarina of Time. At least in the adult timeline. Wind Waker. Kinda. Laruto, the Sage of Earth before Medley, was killed by Ganon's forces years prior to the events of Wind Waker. She was the only Zora in the game, but still gave us the clue we needed to know about what happened to the Zoras in Wind Waker. The reason she was the only Zora we saw wasn't because she was truly the only one. It was because the Zoras became the Ritu, transformed by the goddesses when they fled Hyrule. Now that we've been through the Zoras, let's go with the Ritu. The Ritu are very different in both games they appear in. In Wind Waker, the Ritu make their first and up until recently only appearance. The Wind Waker Ritu were primarily postal service. They had a big role in the story with Medley being one of the sages in the game. And the Ritu also helped save Link and Tetra several times as well, but that was about it. The Ritu lived on Dragon Roost Island, protected by the Spear of Alu. When the Ritu child was deemed ready, the child would be sent to the top of Dragon Roost Island and would be given a scale by Valu. The scale would then give the child their wings. This is non-existent in Breath of the Wild. In the game, the kids learn to fly instead of just gaining wings via magical scale. Which, in my personal opinion, is a lot better. I mean, why would you need a dragon scale to fly? I mean... Shouldn't the Ritu and Wind Waker still be able to fly without it? I mean, they are birds, or are they like an ostrich or a penguin? And if someone stole their scale, would that mean they are not able to fly anymore? They also have a lot more jobs, being warriors, shop owners, and singers. In fact, that's part of Ritu culture. While the men learned to fight in the air, the women learned to sing. The only exception to these jobs was Rivali. We don't know of any other champions or sages or Ritu in the years prior to Breath of the Wild. This is where the problems begin to come up. In Wind Waker, we have proof that the Zoras became the Ritu, but in Breath of the Wild, not only do we not have any proof, but the Zoras are in the game alongside the Ritu. This has led to several fan theories that have tried to uncover the truth of why the Zoras and the Ritu are together. One theory suggests that the Ritu were always in previous Zelda games. Link just never travels that part of the map. This theory is also backed up by a mural in the castle town of Twilight Princess, but strangely, only in the HD re-release. The mural depicts the races of Hyrule, and the Ritus. Problem is, Ritus aren't in Twilight Princess, or in any game in the Child Era. So why would they be hinted at in a game they aren't in? Especially with the fact that this is only in a re-release. It had to be intentional. This is a theory that I can get behind. There's evidence, and it makes a lot of sense. Link cannot travel the entire world. And this is saying Breath of the Wild there are other villages of Ritu. So it isn't far-fetched to assume there are Ritus in Twilight Princess just in another kingdom or part of the world. Another theory suggests something very similar, but instead the Ritu are their own species, never transforming from the Zoras in the Child and Downfall timelines. This also helps explain why the Ritu and Breath of the Wild are so much more bird-like than their Wind Waker counterparts. Though this theory does make sense, it doesn't end up the best. Why would the goddesses transform one species in one timeline, but the species always exist in another? And seeing as the only thing that changes in the moment that the timeline splits is whether Link saves an adult, goes back in time, or dies, it just doesn't make sense for any of those choices to affect this race, with the exception of the already canon Wind Waker story. Then there's the third theory, 
which is that the Ritu and Breath of the Wild in Wind Waker are separate groups. Similar in name, but different origins and culture. Like how there are separate species of birds, there are probably different groups of Ritu in Hyrule. Same thing applies as even seen with the Zoras. There's the River Zoras, who are actually enemies in almost every game they appear in, and the Ocean Zoras, who are the Zoras we see in Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, among others. Chances are that the Zoras in Breath of the Wild are also a separate group of Zoras compared to the ones we've seen in previous games. See how much different they look and how their culture is slightly different. In the end, this is just speculation. Breath of the Wild has already been confirmed to take place in a different age apart from all previous games, connecting them into a unified timeline once again. So there really isn't a way to know for sure what happened. Tons of things could have and have happened between the end of the timeline and Breath of the Wild. Maybe, someday very soon, Nintendo can finally give us the clue we need in order to figure out why the heck the Ritu are there. As always, this is Adventure Blur, and I will see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you guys have your own theories on why the Ritu and Zoras are in the same game, please comment them below and let me know what you think. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on this. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my Project Shadow video right here. Project Shadow is an unbelievably interesting story about the Sonic Universe, one that no one really talks about, so I think you guys will love it. Or if you want a much more lighthearted video, check out my ARMS video right here. ARMS is the polar opposite of this video. It is unbelievably weird. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe if you guys want to see more content like this, and maybe even better content. This is Adventure Blur, and I will see you next time.